Well, I, we started out getting uh, about 150 of these, uh, you know, schlocky movies from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and we put them in a library at DreamWorks, and we kind of made that available to the entire crew. Every Kubrick movie, every Spielberg movie, every Coppola movie, every Scorsese movie to start, and then all these 50s and 60s movies, and just, you know, absorbed it all. And there's one, one of those which we always talk about is Destroy All Monsters, which kind of gathered all of, like the classic Godzilla, Mothra. They put them all on an island. The story makes no sense, but it's totally wonderful, and we watched it over and over again. My character is a character by the name of General, General W.R. Monger, and uh, he is responsible for a prison in an area called 54, and he houses all of the monsters that are captured on the planet, and he keeps them away from the rest of society. So our characters were just a bunch of monsters that get put in a secret government prison, and when aliens invade the world, we have to be released so that we can get them off of Earth. Woo-wee! Now that's a robot! It's huge. Try not to damage it too much, monsters. I might want to bring it back to the farm. No, 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 wait. You didn't say anything about it being huge. Wait. No, don't leave. I think he sees us. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Welcome. We are here to destroy you. There's an unbelievable sense of freedom when you're not, you know, half, half of your work would be your voice and the other half would be your physicality for, for live action films or for theater or for anything. Um, and all of a sudden to be freed of all of that uh, by an animator uh, and you're solely responsible for creating a character with your voice, uh, it allows you to do things that you just simply would never even try before. Oh, it's just completely different. It's uh, working in animated films, you're not on a set, so you don't see anything, and you're not with the actors that we you're have working a with, so we just, um, actually the directors tell you everything, you know, it was a cool character to play because she starts out sort of meek and mild and becomes this incredible, like, superhero. The voice was, was really twofold. There was the fantastic performance uh, by the sergeant in Full Metal Jacket, who was, you know, a very, very aggressive barking kind of military guy and counterbalance with the humor of a cartoon character like um, Yosemite Sam. John Normica, you're going to have to stay in that cell forever. Something Thank like you. that. <laughs> Cheers. Thank Thank you. I've seen the movie with my kids and I loved it. They thought it was so cool. <laughs> Peace. However, most of you will not survive the next 24 hours. 